pre-start Kiwis came in starboard advantage they got the action upwind of the start line holding Azura out on the windward side it was um, really then just the waiting game burning off the clock but the New Zealanders did have an element of control Early on in the pre-start, it was New Zealand and both teams hunting for the, the left, but a late change meant that the New Zealanders wanted the right, they got the right. They just started on that right-hand side, but it was Azura then that managed to gauge up under the New Zealanders, making them tack away. The New Zealanders got out to the right, they got the first shift, they got in phase, and at the first cross, the New Zealanders ahead. At the top mark, a big left-hand shift they sailed up beyond the ley line. New Zealanders slowed Azura up and then uh, accelerated to the first mark. Harold, uh, that manoeuvre really there was testament to accuracy. Well, that's quite right. And once again, we go back to that clinical display. They knew what they wanted to do. They were well up on the ley line and uh, they, they executed that perfectly. Bottom mark, Emirates 10 New Zealand's had to do two, two jibes and in. They jibed and then Spinnaker down. Uh, around the bottom mark. Azura did gauge in at the bottom mark. They didn't have to, they had a simpler manoeuvre. But then that meant that both boats in fades. From there, Emirates Team New Zealand textbook match racing. They pushed Azura all the way out to the left-hand ley line and extended. And that meant that the uh, Italians really did not have too many options. The Kiwis led at the top mark. And then really, it was just then a run down to the finish. Pretty uh, uneventful. Well, with the breeze going off into the right phase as well, it just meant a simple run down to the finish. So a little bit of a one jibe off there for Azura further back to try and open up the gap, but uh, all too late. Down at the line, Emirates Team New Zealand go to the, through to the final.